What's up guys? Welcome to another day on the vlog. Let us jump right on in to 2 Samuel 12, 13. Look at your tail. What are you going to do? That's what I thought. Okay. Then David said to Nathan, I have sinned against the world. 2 Samuel 12, 13. David was called a man after God's own heart. But he sinned in a big way with Bathsheba. How could a man after God's own heart do something like that? I think that it's because we're all created in the image of God. Except for the fact that there isn't sin. Because God is holy, obviously. So, and how could a righteous God keep on blessing him and not just slap him upside the head? And that is because God forgives us. The answer starts with David's confession. When the prophet Nathan confronted King David on his evil choices, David was quick to confess the whole thing. There we are, quick to confess the whole thing. So quick to repent, quick to say I'm sorry. All of that being said, if he is doing it, and that means that's what we should be doing. And not against God. Not like only against God, but also with the people that we surround ourselves with. Family, friends, whoever you're getting a fight with. Quickness to repent is everything. What is the most important? What is, what's most important is that he recognized that ultimately his sin was against God more than any person. David didn't argue for himself. He got right to the confession and agreed with God that he was a total sinner. And that one confession proved that even though he had sinned, in such an awful way, he still loved God. He still loved God and wanted what God wanted. And that honestly is what it comes down to in the end. We have to make sure that we have God first in our lives. And not only that, but when we do that, we're able to keep going. And we're able to have God be the focus of our lives, if that makes sense. Oh, do you want to read the Bible or this book with me too? Okay. Immediately after David's confession, the prophet Nathan told him that the Lord took away all of his sins. But that didn't mean that God would also take away the slap upside the head. Sin has consequences regardless of how sorry you are. Once you confess your sins to God, you are forgiven and set free from the punishment that usually comes along with them in the spiritual world. But that doesn't mean you're free from the consequences they carry in the, fr in the physical world. Sin is never the best choice. Not ever. Even it, though it promises all kinds of payoffs and perks, and the end payoff is just death and destruction. Look closely at the life of David and see how his choices affected not only his life, but his, his kids' lives. And think about how your sin can bring others down with it. You can't let temptations you face draw you into the cycle of sin. You have a heart of after God's own heart if you want what God wants. And you can find out... Find out what that is in his word. Study the lives of those that have gone before you and learn about the life of faith and the effect on others around you. Excuse me. I don't know why I'm so tired all of a sudden. The point is, though, folks, is that we need to have God as the focus of our lives and we need to have him remove the temptations out of our life. And when we have a God-focused life, that is when we are having God as the center of our lives, and therefore we are chasing after God's own heart, which is what the whole point is. Hello, little Uma. How are you? Little pets. Also, celebratory, she finally went in the litter box. I was so, so happy, finally. Oh my gosh. If you guys want something, a tip, if you're ever trying to potty train cats and they're stubborn, they don't want to, and they're like literally like acting like it's like poison every time you put it in, they like freak out and they jump out. Here's what I did. First, I got kitten to track the litter. It's 100% guaranteed that if it doesn't work, then you will basically get a full refund. Second thing I did is I had a laser pointer and I played with the cat. And then after I got it playing around with it for like 15 minutes, I put it next to the litter box. And then I put it in the litter box and the cat very cautiously stepped in and then I played with it in the litter box with the laser. And I kid you not, 10 minutes later, that cat went in there and it peed and then it pooped and I was so happy. And you can hear her in the litter box right now and she plays in the litter box now, which is kind of weird because I'm like, why are you playing in your pooping area? But whatever, you know what? I don't care. She's in there and that's all that matters. 
So, I guess what we have to realize is that God needs to be the center of our lives. And if he's not, that's a problem, obviously. There's not saying that you can't have your wants and your cool things. I mean, the lock screen on my phone is literally a Lamborghini. That's definitely a want, not a need. And so, you know, I have that as a goal and a mindset that I should always be pushing forward to be the best version of myself, not only in the physical world in ways that matter to me, but also in the spiritual world as it relates to God, if that makes sense. It's all mentality shift. It's not when will I become famous, or it's not if I become famous, it's when I will become famous. That's why I know that all of you guys, all 633 of you, thank you for that, by the way. I saw we went up a couple. 633 subscribers right now, guys. That is absolutely crazy. And like, just even that in itself is like so cool. I mean, if you think about it, 500 people is a Boeing super jet or like jumbo jet or whatever. I don't know. That's a lot of people still. I All my subscribers could fill up one plane which is kind of cool. And, you know, I can't wait for me to fill up so many more planes with that. And then, you know, I think that it'd be so much fun and I can't wait for it. And that chapter has not come yet, but it will, guys. And I am so thankful for each and every one of you so far. So thank you very much for sticking around for this part. And also, be sure to watch all the other videos that I have in the past because I have literally hundreds. I have about 400 videos. So if you guys want to go back in the past and watch those videos... There's plenty for you guys to learn from previous Max and also crazy things that I did. Blowing up fireworks and storm drains, renting a Lamborghini with pennies, going on a treasure hunt and finding 50,000 50, pennies buried at the beach. Like, I brought ducks and scared my mom with them. Like, I like literally, the stuff I think of is, like, crazy. Like, 24 hours on the back of a jet ski in the middle of the ocean. Well, not in the middle of the ocean. It was the bay. But it's technically attached to the ocean because it's the bay. So, yes, I guess the ocean. Anyways, you guys get the point. And with that note, I will see you guys tomorrow in the next video. And with nothing left to say, I guess it's time to end it.